Right. And it's and it and it's really sad. But like we we got a lot we got a lot of shit going on. Um, speaking of which, fucking your boy, your boy's back at it. Motherfucking, where's my shit? Umar Johnson. Okay. Dr. Uh-huh. Umar Johnson claims black people spend eleven million dollars a year on grits. <laughs> you seen that, right? I posted. He that. wants your grit money. Wow. Is Yo, that I, a, and, that, did he just come up with that? I'm like, hold on, I need to do my research. Eleven million on grits, nigga. So, so there's this there's this channel I watch, and I watch it in the morning on YouTube, where I guess they take a bunch of Umar clips, and it's like a lot of shit just taken out of context, and he's just saying random shit, and it's it's funny. Right. Wow. It, that's why, like, when you said, like, he's a character of himself, that's exactly what it is. Cause it's like, he'll repeat himself the same, like, oh twice. He'll, yeah. you know, he'll try to hit home that thing. But, and that's what he did with the grist thing. He said, Black people spend $11 million a year on slave food, particularly Quaker oats and grits. And oh, he's like, Quaker oats now. Oats is good. Oatmeal is good for you now, Omar. Don't don't rob the people of their they carbs and their nutrients. They need that. Listen, he he need the money for a school. He trying to build a school for young black boys out here. So that's why the eleven million we spent on. If we took that eleven million, stop behind grits, and we put it towards his school, all our kids could be saved. But all our kids can't go to his school. Like you're in the South, I'm in New Jersey. His school is, I think, in Delaware. I thought it was gonna be in Virginia. It's in Delaware. Um, you could. Your son down there. Nah, I ain't sending my son down there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I don't trust my kids with the Umar uh, Johnson, man. I, I just want to see Umar in a class with a bunch of kids. Just even if it's just like a, a, a fake, you know, a mock tutorial or something. I just want to see his him. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know now it's kind of hard. How do you do it? If you if he did have his school, it'd have to be online, you know. Right. And that's the thing too. He asking people for money right now when we're in the middle of a pandemic. That's Man, why fuck your video. school. Yeah, that's why I made that video. I was like, bro, this, I couldn't sit up here and ask black folks out of all people um, for money in a fucking pandemic. Like, how dare you? You know, what I mean, I can see if you ask a, a particular friend of yours that you know is straight, but just right. ask random black people. Like, I had a girl ask me for a hundred dollars yesterday. I saw I that. <laughs> I don't know this girl from a can of paint. I mean, she says she got you Monday. Fuck out of here. Monday, <laughs> Monday, Monday never wear you 22nd, I guess. That shit wasn't going to never get back to my Oh, shit. I mean, that was y'all funny. Got, y'all got people out here comfortable. Y'all, y'all beggars and y'all have people out here comfortable with this cash app. Uh, Word. People think because you got a cash app that you were just, you were just an ATM. Like, no. I got red, like, people in my family. Like close family, family friends, motherfuckers are sending cash app requests because it's their birthday. Okay, that's that, shit, that shit's still uh, sitting there. I've never been the type to put money on my shirt or any of that on my birthday. I don't ask nobody for no second. Oh, that's 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 some New Orleans shit. Like when I was in New Orleans for my birthday, it was trying to do that to me. I was like, I'm too drunk for this. Yeah, niggas get robbed like where I'm from. <laughs> money on it. I ain't trying to. It's like no, it's a New Orleans thing. It's like yeah, no. Like if, if you want to give me a dollar, fine, but like. Yeah. Let's they go. That, let's um, go drink. Uh huh. Yeah, that was too much. But yeah, eleven million dollars on grits, man. I don't. I don't know. He's apparently he raised the money to buy the property. Now he wants to raise. And I, I guess I get it. You know, like the community funding type thing. But I think the way Umar's going about it is all wrong. Because he's and telling it, people. Yeah, that, and if you're gonna build a school, you you should want to have as much uh, networking partners as possible, and, and try to have as many friends and, and as possible. Instead, you out here beefing with the few other black people that are in the same circle as you. Yeah, it was like Monty Woodgrain. I'm gonna fuck his ass up too. <laughs> yeah, you know, he calling him out. He calling out Tariq. He calling out Ados. He calling out. I'm like, bro, you know yo you, you people support like they they call out boys. They call boys Watkins Moist Twakins. They call him voice. And this I mean, is why we can't, this right here, that yeah. whole situation is why, go back to our first topic. Yeah, no why, right. Nigga, we, we, we want a lot, but we don't want nothing. At this point, it's not even fuck leadership. Can we just have some kind of unity? Like, if you niggas really, because these are some smart brothers and sisters. If y'all, it, it, rather you think they scammers or not, they, they have the information on, right? Right, right. Umar's information is on point. It's just everything else. 
But it's like, dog, why why don't y'all all just come together and say fuck the 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 bullshit? I mean, I sat there and watched him and Tariq do a wrestling promo back and forth. I'm gonna kick their ass uh, about who came up with the get woke uh, concept. Oh my god! See, oh my that, that's what I'm saying. We we too busy worried about. Her. I came up with get woke, well, not you. I'm like, oh. My but God. you see what I'm saying? We're worried about the wrong shit here. Yeah. Like, why are we yeah. arguing about who came over this? Look, it's a statement. And whoever came up with it, you motherfuckers ain't coined the phrase. Somebody else done freaking yeah, quite like capitalized it. off of it. I used to come up with all kind of shit on Twitter. You would see on Black Twitter on the timeline. I would come up with all kind of shit and see these niggas take my lines. I've seen my, I've seen tweets I put out become memes. I never said shit. I, was I started the damn forty dollar tweet. No, nobody okay. want to give me access uh, credit for that, but I don't care. You know, I was like, I really I, don't I, care. I didn't copyright it. I'm not getting paid off. Right. But I've seen my shit get stolen, and you know, some niggas will even come up to me like football's about to come on. I come up with all kind of nicknames and shit. My folks be like, Yo, man, what's your nickname for the for the the, the Cowboys? Oh, niggas call you for nicknames and shit. When I was on Twitter, actually, yeah, but, I mean, I give away shit for free all the time, so. I mean, to get mad over woke. I mean, as long as people are actually getting woke, what the fuck do you care about? The right. Phrase? Like these niggas, all they care about is money, and uh, you're, you're using black people's anger and emotions to make money off of. Tariq gets online and says, "Let me find something racist I can do to piss off black folks." Right. Because <laughs> it's like it's like um, what was that? Uh, Tupac said, or they they put it in that song when they had a. Uh, the fucking resurrection movie or whatever they had to quote when it was like him and Biggie are fighting on who's going to be the the leader of the niggerdom, you know, like basically like we we're over here fighting over nothing, like you know, like this this whole East Coast West Coast shit was some bullshit, and it's just basically over a discrepancy of I didn't like something he did or you know whatever that that whole situation was. It turned into now we're trying to fight over who's going to be the leader of the niggers. Mm-hmm. And that's basically what's going on now. And it's like, we could have more than one. Like, we had Malcolm X and Martin Luther King at the same time back in the day. Yeah. They, you we ain't see them on Twitter talking about some, I I started fucking uh, Let Freedom Ring or whatever. Like, come on, man. Yeah.